are sharing unpopular opinion. Topic inspired by Reddit inspired YouTube videos on my YouTube feed. I think uh, I think by sharing that you'll, you'll know why I don't get invited to a lot of parties, birthday parties, reunions, after work things, or get togethers because <clears throat> at times of smoking and joking, I do tell certain people, "Hey, dog." Hey, idiot. Did you finish that? We'll go get this done. Oh, come on, man. We're relaxing. But, you know, for me, relaxing is... It's for people who have been pushing and making shit happen. Everyone's fucking tired. Everyone gets a little boo-boo. Everyone's hungry. You know, if you're, if you're putting out, uh, making shit happen, yeah. Take a break, chill out. Smoking and joking is fine. But I'll probably bring up, bring up stuff like that. And I should bring up stuff like that because someone will ask me to. Ask me a certain question and... I think uh, <laughs> I think my dog just said fuck that here's my opinion stand by for impact <clears throat> but when I said when I read that poor people like to keep poor people down yeah, man, I felt that. I feel that. I agree with that because you know, for me, I, I've been mocked, and I have also mocked people for "Hey, nerd, you, you trying to read?" And that's because I was <laughs> taught by other fucking morons. Hey, nerd, we're trying to read. Go to college. Why are you trying to get a, a nicer house? Why are you trying to... Why are you calling your wife, your girlfriend, you to uh, say goodnight, to check in? Why do, you want a, why do you want a job that pays more? Don't you just want to hang out on the block? Stay here with us. Become one of us. But, uh, you know, to elaborate further, I really don't think that it's just the poor. I do believe that it's those with poor thinking. And, and I've been taught by example, man, more than words that. Oh no man, well, you can't break up with them, you can't uh, cut ties with them, you can't walk turn walk away from them, you can't turn your back on them. You can't go away, you can't um leave, you can't quit, you can't do this. You shouldn't do that. That's not what I have planned for you. Um uh that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's not what I wanted with your life. <clears throat> and I think that's people with poor thinking, man. Again, I'll tell you how I was, how I was conditioned. For me, I was told, not told, shown that what is right is, is, uh, is just get a job, a job. Doesn't matter if you're Reading meters, if you're a 
five star or whatever four star mission star chef or uh, fucking uh, if you're a famous actor or if you fucking work in a theater just uh, count, punching tickets and just get a job instead of a career instead of finding purpose with your life And I think a lot of people said that, uh, man, you're going to be lonely, man. You need friends. And I, and I say, um, oh, no. <clears throat> uh, watch me die. Oh, no. I'm going to be so miserable. I'm going to be so miserable with, without so many doubters. Oh, no. And. And, and I learned from experience, man. I learned uh, when I was on my path to go learn new things. <clears throat> Start a new career, not just a job, a new career. Meeting people who, who are just as, I want to say just as clueless, but also with that comes just as hungry to learn why, why they're clueless and to unfuck that clueless um, hunger. No, man, my, my role models, well, I wouldn't even say my role models, but those who probably thought that they were my role models were the adults in my life as, as I was growing up. No, I would look at their lives and think, yeah, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a fuck about the moment. All I have is a fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh grade education. I don't want that. Yeah, you may have a house and a wife and kids. But you know what, dude? I just see, um, I don't know. Some, I don't see, I see disconnection. That's what stands out. I'm like, I'm like no. Fuck that. <clears throat> Another Reddit post <laughs> talks about how um, people deserve to live and people um, deserve to die or people deserve to quit to live. You know, if there's a business that uh, shows people, tells people <clears throat> with depression, anxiety, bipolar, this, this or that disorder, no, you, you can't, um, we need to save them so they could um, be a doped up on meds. And and I've seen more than one person, more than one person who is, they'll be in, in a similar situation like me. <laughs> Here's the kicker, man. With a nicer car, with more income, more food in their belly, more resources. So imagine if I, if I if I had less, right? And I was like, no, man, Trump, he's the real effort. He oh, my goodness, racism. Oh, my God, I'm hopeless. Oh, my God, this is never going to work out. And uh, and I keep spreading that to, to you, to your kids, to your grandkids, to your nieces, your nephews, your little brother, your little sister, your neighbor, your class, your team, your... Um, your work, <laughs> the fucking baker where you go get your muffins, uh, the the butcher where you go get your steaks, um, <clears throat> your garbage man that comes by and picks up the garbage and shit, and and I just fucking spread negativity, man. Oh my. And I've had personal experience myself, man, where, where I've said, oh, that fucker's dead. Good. Good. Oh, man, you see, man, um, um, that's not right. That's not nice. Well, why didn't you help out? Why didn't you fucking become 
increase your speed and intensity for you and that other piece of shit to grow, to become stronger, healthier, smarter, richer. <clears throat> and uh, because then if, if there was death or suicide or cancer or, or a drunk driver killing you, at your funeral, instead of having stupid ass fucking um, stupid ass words, it'd be a celebration of, wow, man, look at this. Two fucking winners are no longer here, but by their example, they taught us to be hungry for life, that while we're alive, fuck, there's so much to do, and it, it may be a physical loss, but beyond that, it's no, they're still here, man. They, they're, they're, they're still alive, man. One dude I met, amazing leader, went to one of his talks. I didn't work for him or his company, but he invited me to um, to go listen to him as he spoke to his new uh, new staff. And this amazing man, warrior, served in World War II. <laughs> and works out. He works out six out of seven days a week, six out of seven. But on seven days, he doesn't sit on his ass and pick his belly button. No, he's, I'm pretty sure he's still out there doing something. Oh no, it's the fly. the age of 93, this guy just kept at it, man. Kept on working. <clears throat> and I remember, I remember when I heard of his, of his death, I forget his age, he was either 95 or 97 when he died. But I remember different people flying in and the LA Times, uh, his death being an actual story um, on the main page of the website. And uh, this thing, so many people just uh, fly in to his funeral or share some words about, um, about him. Know that dude, uh, yeah, when he died, I know that he left. Uh, I know that he taught one of my mentors. You know, one dude in particular who showed me a ton, man. Makes him a train of thought, man. Let's see my because I know that that guy No no he taught a lot man But it's the other people that are I'm so depressed yeah, but you don't understand. I got this, I got that problem. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I, I have the uh, same problem, but just, uh, I'm, I'm guessing with, with uh, a lot less flexibility, a lot less remedy.
technically speaking, technically. But it doesn't, um, <clears throat> no, it doesn't, uh, make me want to go jump off a bridge or fucking tell everyone, no, man, it's, the, the world is hopeless. It's, and anyways, but when it sees pieces of shit, you know, if I was to, if I was to see them, uh, fucking, uh, walk up to the top of a building, a pipe construction. And this, and I was see them at the edge and they were thinking about it. If something from a distance, I'd probably just give them a thumbs up. And I'd do it. Oh man, that's not right, man. But we, but we like, we want to incub incubate our Baby, these sort of motherfuckers, man. Oh man, if you want to run themselves to the ground, yeah, I do believe you. it's their life and we should let them. No, I'm not saying that. No, what if he wants to burn down your home and your business? No, you fucking moron. That's fucking arson, you fucking idiot. But this fucking idiot says, I'm gonna go jump off the bridge. I'm going to go out into the, the forest and lay down and die. Good. Can you, can you take the trash out while you're at it? But if you can take the trash out of it, make sure it's a perishable stuff. I don't want you literally in the fucking the forest, man, Yosemite. Unpopular opinion. I think divorce is good. I think uh, there should be tests in order to get married. So that way there isn't so much divorce. I think a lot of piece of shit couples make marriage look bad. Because they do believe in it. And the people that I've met that have been... Beautiful love stories. You know, I look at both of them and I think, wow. That's an amazing husband. That's an amazing wife. And that kid has amazing parents. And yeah, I need to look out for that kid because that kid's going to, he, he'll be doing things in the future. He'll be a leader. Marriage is good. divorce is good. Jump it off the bridge if you want to, that's okay. <clears throat> and, and I think uh I'm trying to think where where I saw I think it was the that Madagascar. Madagascar prison. I think that the Black Dolphin Russian prison was was the shit. Fuck that. It's the um Madagascar one. They don't even they don't even eat food. Food being there. They have a, like some sort of uh, tree bark food. Tree bark soup. And he was giving a cup of coffee with a piece of bread for breakfast. No, if you sold fireworks or have unpaid parking tickets or sold weed, no, I don't think you should be in prison. Maybe at the most community service to to learn to uh, not do those things anymore. Well, but for violent crimes, murder, or rape, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's test out this uh, supersonic jet. Let's put this a uh, human body on the on the dashboard. The tip of the nose of the airplane, see what happens to it. Let's put this heart rate monitor on this um, human being and 
launch it into space and see let's see how 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 long the human body can actually live without air for oh that long all right cool wait let's try to bring it back to life now let's uh send them out there let's teach uh, somebody else to uh, be a paramedic and to launch them up there same thing No man, that's cruel and unusual punishment. No man. You know what? I could have um AC here. I could have some little mittens. I could have a fireplace. I could have um many things for more comfort. Um little hot cocoa machine. You know, as, as whatever, as whatever I may think, oh, I'm so uncomfortable, or this sucks. I'm not gonna go. And if your grandma has um, a new cocoa machine, coffee express machine, whatever the fuck, um, some new drawing tools or a new drawing iPad thing. I'm not, I'm not going to go over there to your grandma's house, your granny's business, grandpa's business, and go and knock them over the head for it. <clears throat> because I'm tired of being poor. I'm tired of using all this paper. I'm tired of these erasers. Oh, man, people. Uh, I don't get it when people want to give all these other people Stamp Penny would say tacit approval. Believe their excuse. Um, okay, yet. I don't get it, man. This is an unpopular opinion. Doing scientific experiments on those who committed violent crimes. Um, I'm sure it was Lenin or Stalin who. Um, <clears throat> I forget where the road led to. It was a Russian road, and he put the workers to work out in summer clothes during the Russian winter. And whoever died digging this road and putting up the gravel for it, they would simply be buried uh, under it, in it. But the shit got built. <clears throat> and uh, and that's not right, man. You know, every every rapist, child molester, and serial killer deserve, deserves to be in their cell and just rest with some cable axes and. Listen to Art Lebeau's uh, Sunday show. They got dedications. And they deserve all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sucks that they were victims, but you know what? We're beyond that. But if you had a prisoner's uh, great roads that way, like, uh, I think we need to throw them at. Where, where are their, um, where would be private property? Those that lead to private property or those that lead throughout forest? Steep forest. Steep areas. To 
was driving to Denver. And, and I remember seeing this one, um, off on this highway, and it went through this rock, the road elevated to go through a hole on this like little mountain. Um, and, and I could tell that <clears throat> it's possible that uh, that hole in the rock was chiseled, that rock, little mountain. With the chisel or dynamite, it blown out. But I thought, fuck, man. And I was in an air conditioned new car, man. And even me with uh, my energy drink, uh, cold water. I was like, you know what? I, I could sense the warmth out there. But. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure whoever was, whoever was out there working on that, because even if it was nighttime, yeah, I wouldn't doubt rain or storms or storms with a lot of sandstorms, shit like that. Tarantulas, pythons, snakes, that's pythons. Snakes. Wildlife shit out there, spraining your ankle. And, um,. Yeah, let's put them out there. a video by itself where if America had a version of the French Foreign Legion uh, the French Foreign Legion now these guys anyone can join even with a criminal record unless you're a serial killer but uh, you could join and get a new uh, identity But the, the statistics are that 100% uh, of them of legionnaires are, gu are guaranteed to see combat, but also one out of eight are guaranteed to die. Uh, it's so rough that uh, you could retire in f 15 years, one five, and uh, they'll set you up with your fake identity and retire on the on the vineyard. Eat with a bunch of legionnaires and just uh, chill out. You beat the final boss. You made it. But imagine if we did that to, um, <clears throat> you know, bank robbers, uh, con artists. What else would it be? Uh, extremely violent crime. Fraudsters, people cut the uh, the tag out of the uh, mattresses. And uh, you know, allow them to be uh, active and operate. You know, so you're a little Tim, you can go to college and be a um, little ballerina. <laughs> so that your daughter can become president of the United States. With her fucking bitchy attitude. Because uh, remember you told her that she's a princess all her life. And politicians need term limits, man. Uh, Pelosi and Maxine Waters. Uh, I'm not the uh, the brightest or tastiest pop tart in the box. 
nor am I the most functional and high demand piece of Lego in, in the set. But I'm pretty sure that uh, if you carry on with the plans of uh, Pelosi and Maxine Waters, I don't think they're losing their minds with their race baiting and um, corruption. And, and simply um, just carrying out senses, sentences out in public. That's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. My dog is fighting too much here. Trump, 2020.